Hey guys, you've been listening to Insert Coin to Begin presents <laughs> Let's Play. This is episode 14. Joining me this week is Allison, Julie, and Bobby. Hi, everyone. <laughs> See that? That's how you do it. Uh, in case you are unfamiliar, I am Chachi. I'm the cr genius behind Insert Coin to Begin. Uh, 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 insert Coin to Begin. Oh, dot you com. just negated what you said. I know. <laughs> no, no, I'm no longer. I'm no longer the genius behind. I'm just the bumbling idiot that's behind it now. <laughs> um, it is a gaming site by gamers for gamers. We cover gaming news from across the world. In case you've never listened to the show, this is how it works. We have four. I never listened to the show. Oh, okay. Uh, well, it, it, because you've never listened to the show, you're unfamiliar with the format. We have four questions each week. First question is always and will always be, uh, what are you playing and did you play the challenge last week's challenge play, being World of Goo? We'll get to that in a second, though. And if we follow that up with two minor questions and a boss fight question that is supposed to lead to a huge discussion and take us out of the show. You can find us at the website insertcointobegin.com, on Twitter at insertcointb, we're on Facebook, Google+, iTunes, everywhere. So, let's, uh, let's take a moment and uh, welcome Allison to the crew. Yay! Hi! Uh, go ahead and... More vagina! <laughs> All right. And there's our... Uh, and I ruined it. <laughs> there's our explicit tag for the week. Um, Allison, why don't you go ahead and tell the listeners a little bit about yourself. Um, let me think. I am a university student. I'm studying social media and marketing at the University of Winnipeg. Um, I write a blog at allisonshane.com. It's A-L-Y-S-O-N-S-H-A-N-E.com. It's also my Twitter tag. Um, I have been told I'm very good at the internet, so I kind of pride myself on knowing most, you know, relevant goings on. Um, obviously I play video games and now I write here. Isn't it lovely? It is. It is very lovely. Yep. <laughs> that was a terrible introduction. My apologies. I wasn't. I should have been more prepared for that, but I wasn't. I was like, oh, this is horrible. Well, the chat room says you have hot eyes. <laughs> See my eyes? <laughs> That's nice. I have to doll myself up next time. I wasn't anticipating video. I biked home. I look like garbage. <laughs> You don't look like garbage. Okay, this is never mind. Never mind. I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm sorry. <laughs> if there's anybody on the show that looks like garbage, it's me. <laughs> and as you heard, that is Bobby joining us once again on the show. <laughs> nice segue. How are you, Bobby? <laughs> Pretty good. Good. You can find him at Bobby FJ Town on the Twitters, and he uh, sometimes does stuff on the site every once in a while. Sometimes. <laughs> and also joining us is Julie. Once again, I'm back. We can't seem to get rid of her. No, I'm addicted to it now. It's too late. Oh, that's fine. I don't mind. What dirty secret did we find this week? Yes, what dirty secret are we going <laughs> to learn this week about Julie in What's video games? Game? Yeah, what did you do while playing Barbie games? Have I didn't play Barbie games, please. Now she's going to beat us. Yep. Uh, we're going to be stuck in a doorless room. <laughs> like her cat. I let the cat out. Oh, the cat's out of the room. Uh, out of the room. Oh, Bobby. Boo. Bobby. Yes. Uh, did you uh, play the challenge, and what are you playing? I did play the challenge this week. I played it today, actually. I uh, downloaded the demo on uh, Windows. Uh, it was a lot easier on Windows than when I played it on the Wii, because the Wii makes everything challenging. Uh, more challenging than it should be. But it, it was a fun little game. Uh, I only played three levels. Uh, you have to build a tower to get to the pipe and suck up all the little goo pieces. and It's actually kind of a fun game. Um, I've been playing this week Mass Effect 3. I just got to the point. Uh, I just start, yeah, I started it, basically. I got uh, Garrus. Uh, I've been playing White Knight Chronicles on a PS3, which the PS3... I didn't get to play that too much because you have to install the game before you play it, and it sucks. Uh, I was playing the Madden 13 demo, uh, still playing Marvel's Avengers Alliance, and I finally unlocked the White Queen and Scramble with Friends. All right. Allison. 
All right, um, I didn't play the challenge. Whoops. Um, I have been playing Digital A Love Story, which is this text-based game um, you can download for free. I've been playing it off my iMac. I'm really enjoying it. I'm not really sure where it's going. Um, and it kind of harkens me back to the days of like high school computer class. We had to make those text-based adventure games. So I I'm really enjoying that. that. And uh, for the lulls, I've been playing Zelda uh, Ocarina of Time on the Wii. Yay. Just kind of in my downtime. Great, great game. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. Jolie. I did not play the challenge. I failed this week, but I'm going to play this. I'm going to play World of Goo and this week's challenge together. That way I can make up for it. I'm obviously still playing WoW. I'm not going to, you know, talk about it because you laughed at me last time and that's fine. <laughs> I was going to ask about Marvel Avengers Alliance because that sounds pretty awesome. Do you have yeah. that for PS or do you have it for Xbox? Um, it's on uh, Facebook. It's a Facebook game. It's, oh, that's the one you're talking about? Oh, addictive. boo. I don't like it. <laughs> you will say goodbye was, to your life. I just started I'm in playing level that 61 right now. My computer's so bad. I, I am actually, tomorrow, I will be receiving all of my new computer parts. Um, I got Guild Wars 2, but until I build the new computer, I cannot play it. So, yes. It's actually, it's actually you, not very graphically intensive. It's, it's just like Trust me, I'm on an iMac that's five years old and that doesn't fly in Steve Jobs land. <laughs> Nothing wrong with old IMAX. I love this thing. I will never get rid of it. It's my child. It might slow down a bit. But, but I need to build a PC unfortunately, which is sad. Let's not talk about it. It makes me sad. You really should. It's upsetting me too. <laughs> All right. Well, I also did not play the challenge this week. I, I was I like... <laughs> hey, you know what? I, I've been having a week long competition with your wife. Oh, in, oh. in uh <laughs> Monsters Ate My Condo. <laughs> uh it, it's been a high score challenge going back and forth all week. And currently I'm in the lead with twenty two point one billion points. Oh. So yeah, that's what I've been doing. Points go that high. Is that a face on somebody's finger? Yeah. In that picture you just brought up. My head? No, 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 not your head. The <laughs> picture of like that. Oh yeah, yeah. Awkward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, like I didn't. That is a sumo thumb. I, I didn't well, see. I didn't see that. I looked up and saw me, and I was like, "Wait, what's going on?" <laughs> um, you look like the mom from Honey Boo Boo, a human thumb. <laughs> oh, please, good God, <laughs> Honey Boo Boo, child. I'm gonna destroy you, Bobby. <laughs> Anyhow, um, I've been playing. I played Call of Duty again. And I played, uh, uh, I went out and I finally bought uh, GTA 4, and I've been playing that. I also learned a very important lesson in GTA, GTA 4. Um, if for a while there, I was stealing really, really nice cars, and I wanted to keep them in good shape. That way I didn't have to go back. I will be right back! That way, <laughs> that way I didn't have to uh, uh, go out and steal the car again. So I was driving around the city following traffic laws, and apparently I pissed off a police officer who kept yelling at me to pull over. Yeah, don't pull over in Liberty City, because as soon as you get out of the car, you're going to get shot. Oh, no. And that was without a wanted level. Like, I still, to this to this moment, don't know what I was doing. But yeah, Probably he the just... The guy that stole your, the, you stole a car from. <laughs> no, it was a cop. Oh, <laughs> like I, I guess I cut the cop off, and he got really pissed off, and just shot me as soon as I got out of the car. So, Liberty City Road Rage. Yeah, it was it was <laughs> weird. Um, yeah, challenge for next week. All right, we'll we'll do what Bobby says. Yay! It's it's it. not very time consuming. Go what ahead and uh, tell us what the challenge is and explain it to us. Uh, a long time ago, my friend and I found this site. Where we found this game called Quest for the Crown. Um, you have to play it for yourself. Play it with sound on. Not too loud. It, it's not one of those games that's going to scare you. It's You have to stay through the whole game. That's all I'm going to say. Well, what's it's, it, it's amazing. And it's uh, on www.onemorelevel.com slash game slash quest underscore for underscore the underscore crown. Okay. We'll probably put the link in the the, the uh, description of the show. Oh. Yeah, I didn't bother writing that down. I was like, I'll just get it from the... Yeah, yeah I'll just I'll get it later. Okay, well, uh, 
then it's your uh, it's your job to tweet that later because I'm not going to okay. remember it either. I will do that. <laughs> what? There it is. Oh, it looks like uh, what was that game for Atari? I was adventure. gonna say it looks like yeah. something from Atari. What is it? Looks like adventure. Adventure. <laughs> Win. The Odyssey had those kind of games too, though. These little. All right, so uh, let's get on to the other questions before we run out of time, because Sorg will cut us off. That's sad, Sorg. You shouldn't yeah. do that. Yeah, Sorg. He's kind of an ass like that. Uh, do you think that six months of teasers and previews ruin the, ruin the anticipation of a game? Uh, for example, I put in GTA Five and Assassin's Creed Three. Uh, Allison. Hell no! <laughs> you know what, honestly, I think unless it's a sports title where it's just kind of like, it's Madden, but, you know, that's what you get. Um, I think it really builds up anticipation. I think it's fantastic. I mean, like, when I first saw the clips for Assassin's Creed 3, I basically lost my mind. I thought it was amazing. And it, I, I think it's great, honestly. Bobby? Um, I'm going to say yes. Or it, I'm going to say no. It, it builds excitement <laughs> for the game. Um, every time I see a preview for The Last of Us, it just... Uh, it drives me nuts because I want to play the game and it, with more screenshots and more more footage of the game. It just it's amazing. Um, the new Th Assassin's uh, Creed Three trailer for the new engine. Um, I think it's called Anvil Next. If you've seen that, that also looks just stunning graphics and just everything gets gets you more excited for the game. And every trailer they release for Borderlands Two is another another game that I can't wait yeah. for. It's coming out. Wub wub. <laughs> Joy. I love it. I love that anticipation. I agree with what Allison said, though. Um, sports games are sports games. So but it's like, ah, you're going to play a game. It's soccer or football. Yeah. Big but I mean, when Diablo 3, I mean, seeing those Diablo 3 commercials on TV was freaking awesome. And it really just built the excitement more and more. I don't mind six months of teasers and trailers. Well, I am in agreement with you guys. Um, each and every time something new from Assassin's Creed 3 comes out, I get more excited. Um, what? What? Stop making hand signals at me. I don't know what you mean. He's telling you to hurry up. We're going to get no. cut off. Um, uh, the, the reason this question made it into uh, the show this week is because Riz was bashing it. He was bashing the fact that they're, they're showing all this of Assassin's Creed 3. Um, from the chat room, uh, AJ said that COD Call of Duty Black Ops 2 is going to make him test the limits of cotton. <laughs> Does that mean you're gonna like poo your pants or like what's? I think he's <laughs> getting really evil. excited because that's do. what that said to me. Um, and Matt said he doesn't mind it either. He just hates it when he doesn't show off when they don't show anything for months. So, all right, next question: Should difficulty levels be a thing? Uh, Bobby. Uh, yes. Um. I, I tend to play games more for story, and if I want to play through a game quickly, I put it on easy and just play it through real quick. But if I want, and, and I, I like having the fact that the harder levels are there if I want to challenge myself. But I, I mainly play for story, and I, I just, I, I don't know. Okay. That, that's my feelings on that. Uh, Julie. Um. I do think that we should have that there should be different levels because I mean I like to start a game out on normal until I get a hang of it, um, and then I like to switch it up for hard or whatever. Usually for um, I'm an achievement whore, so <laughs> that's what that is. But I mean, like games like Skyrim, they allow you to change the difficulty whenever. So mm -hmm. if you can't beat a boss, you can adjust the level. But I also think it's good because younger players or more inexperienced players who really love gaming but aren't there yet they should have the opportunity to play those games at a lower level to, you know, get them used to the environment, the game, the controls, stuff like that. Okay. Allison. Um, I'm pretty much in the same boat as Julie. I'm an achievement whore myself. So if there is the opportunity to play something on a harder difficulty so I can, you know, get that little Xbox, like, bloop, 
you know is that the best um, sound ever down. When um, one of the games that, that i played recently awesome. that had something like that was uh fallout new vegas they have the i don't know i think it's like hardcore or something like that but it adds this whole new dynamic to the game that i really liked um but you don't have to have it and i liked playing through it like the four times that i played through it without having to do that at first so um i don't know i like it i don't think it's applicable for every game but I definitely can see the value in, in certain titles, like, like Lego. Uh, was talking about Skyrim and like Fallout and stuff like that. Lego difficulty levels, epic. Epic. <laughs> uh, you know what? I don't care. Honestly, I and I, I'll I'll explain. Um, I don't ever touch the difficulty level. I I just play it as is, and. Maybe if I play through again, I'll bump it up a level, but I, I normally just leave it wherever they put it. Um, however, I, I tend to think that with younger gamers, I don't think we should give them the opportunity <laughs> to bump. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we but didn't you were a younger gamer once too. Yeah, and you know what? We didn't have that opportunity. Go yeah. back, go back. Um, ba- Game Shark. Go Mother back. Effers. Let's talk Game, Game Shark. Genie. Go back and try to change the difficulty level on the original Legend of Zelda. Or Silver Surfer or Dick Tracy, which I'm going to mention in the next question. Yeah. Dick Tracy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go, <laughs> go back. No, seriously. Go back and try to change, change the uh, difficulty level on any game that we grew up with. You can't. You can't. Let's and and I see your hard. point on that. We're still here. <laughs> Mario only had one difficulty level, guys. Right. We're still here. Yep, that's that's true. I, I agree there. And uh, as, as scientific studies have shown, uh, video game puzzle solving actually increases your real life uh, problem solving skills. <gasps> see, Mom, it wasn't a waste. So uh, <laughs> giving kids the ability to lower the uh, difficulty level takes away from that uh, life experience. Just like packing a car in Tetris, like the Simpsons. Exactly. <laughs> Which we do each and every month <laughs> when we pack up after uh, filming a wrestling show. <laughs> so, I mean, it, thanks to Tetris, I can pack the back of the uh, rendezvous. You sing it. I do. I, I usually uh, hum the theme in my head. <laughs> uh, it helps me think. <laughs> um, and now to... The boss fight. It's something. It's pretty much along the same lines. Um, and I was playing, like I said, I was playing uh, Grand Theft Auto 4 this week a lot. And it made me start thinking that w- it would be a completely different game if they took away all the cheat codes. Yep. Like, I doubt I would play the game if they, ser- if they didn't have cheat codes for that game. So, uh, my, my question is... Uh, do you think cheat codes should be a thing? Allison. Um, honestly, I've never played with cheat codes. I don't believe in cheat codes. You've I don't never use used, them. You've I've never, never really been in a gaming situation where I thought, you know, oh, I would really like to have, you know, something I can just punch in that makes my gaming experience easier. I call um, bullshit. No, I... Oh. I you've never put in a, a Sims cheat... Rosebud. Oh no, she's frozen. Oh, oh no. Oh, that's what you got for calling her out. Oh man, we'll Way try to, to go. We're try gonna to try get... to bring her back right. here. Go ahead. Go ahead, Julie. Um, I always try to play a game without cheat codes. Honestly, the only games that I've used cheat codes in have been the Sims, usually for the the um the money. money. Yep, money cheat. Um but how do you guys feel about uh walkthroughs though? Because they're not cheat codes, but it's kind of a frame by frame how to play the game i mean and i obviously i find myself like even with skyrim there were a few times i was like there's no way in hell i'm gonna get this quest done and i had to google to make sure i was on the right way some games you need the walkthrough like Mm. the legend of zelda i need somebody who spends 90 hours a day of their lives to tell me how to play the game (laughs) until i can be that person hey am i back you are back. back Yes. Okay, so... Hold on a second. Hold on. There we go. Okay, so me... 
me calling bullshit on you uh, caused your computer to crash. Um, I know, everyone got really upset with me, and then you guys cut me off. I was like, this is the last time I podcast with I'm people. like, man, she's really offended. <laughs> yeah, she just she's stopped really at that sock <laughs> face. <laughs> just whatever, guys. Um, um, no, you know what? I remember getting into arguments with my brothers about The Sims, and they're like, well, just use this code, and you can get all the money you want. And I don't know, that wasn't the game for me. I don't know. Maybe the only time I've ever used any sort of cheat mechanism is I had some friends who had a game shark. And I thought the game shark was bullshit. <laughs> but well, in all honesty, Dude, the game paper shark boy is useless unless there's that? game shark. The game shark is bullshit. Um, <laughs> I, I agree hey, with that. Hey, game genie, NES, what's up? No, it's still yeah. bullshit. If it's not a built-in cheat code, it's bullshit. I'm sorry. Say it to the game genie's face. Um, I, to the chat room before we uh, move on to Bobby, uh, AJ brings up the point that him and I would have been fucked on Contra without the Contra code. And then he also said that uh, Allison's Canadian, which makes it impossible for her to lie. That's racist. <laughs> um, he is correct. John said uh, he uses the pedestrian's riot code on GTA. Uh, Riz said the last time he used the cheat code wait, wait, was wait, wait. In... What's the pedestrian's riot code? Is that just more violence? Makes everybody angry. Yeah. Ah. And then uh, Riz said the last time he used the cheat code was on GTA 4. And we'll get to Matt's point in a second. Um, go ahead, Bobby. Yeah, I Bobby. was going to mention GTA, any of the GTA games. If you haven't spawned a tank and rampaged through the city before you could earn a tank, <laughs> then you haven't lived. Um, <laughs> I always, I always, another Facts. thing, going back to the Game Genie, I always used to use the Game Genie for two games that were impossible to beat without the Game Genie, and that's Dick Tracy one of the hardest games ever, and Silver Surfer, possibly the hardest game ever. Um, they were really hard with Game Genie. Imagine without Game Genie. They were unplayable. But yeah, I... I and, and of course, the Konami code, who could just burned into our conscious... Oh, yeah. You know, <laughs> over years of gaming. But yeah, those are my... Those, yeah, that was my answer. Uh, Matt said... Uh, she, uh, I can't see it now. It just scrolled up. I don't know what's going on. Read what Matt said in the chat room. Uh, uh, in the meantime, uh, he said, I think cheat codes should be something that alters the game and makes it funner in some ways. I did use cheat codes when I was younger, but nowadays I play them the old fashioned way because I don't have to. I get more of a thrill without it. Okay. Uh, Zero 2K said Age of Vampires without cheat codes is quite boring. It becomes a game about cutting trees. <laughs> <laughs> that suddenly explains why I never found Age of Empires to be all that interesting. And Riz uh, said that if you don't use big head mode in NBA Jam, you are dead to him. <laughs> um, He's on fire. My whole my whole thing is the only games that I use cheat codes on are games where it doesn't really matter, like The Sims. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. The Sims, and if I'm just messing around in Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. Dude, I don't even like questing in Grand Theft Auto. I, I leave my house, I kill every stripper and drug dealer in the area, <laughs> and then I go back home. <laughs> That's all I do. Call that a day's work. Yep. <laughs> I'd this be an week, excellent pimp. This week's uh, skeleton in Julie's closet... <laughs> <laughs> Is that, that should be part of this show. It would be a, Julie's weekly skeleton. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it's... Uh, I agree. Um, <laughs> Grand Theft Batman. <laughs> don't... No, don't start that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lego Grand Theft Batman? No. Question mark? No. Stop. <laughs> Stop. We're not going down the slippery slope. Of Lego movies. Uh, SimCity 2000 cheat codes were great. I agree. Paintball mode and Golden Eye. These are all from the chat room. Um, <gasps> but back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, I, if I use a cheat code in Grand Theft Auto, it's just because I want to tank. Yeah. So I can just uh, go up and down the street and run everything over. Um, also, the the codes in Mario Brothers that made it like extremely high jumping and stuff like that. Those were fun. Oh yeah. You never knew what was going to happen. 
See, the only thing I knew in Mario was just to go behind the one thing and to get the flute to yeah, skip to yeah. the end. That was three, right? That was Mario yeah, three. Was. I knew where all the warp whistles were. Warp whistle. <laughs> Your mom knows where the warp whistles are. Wow. Oh, shit. Uh, do you, uh, John wants to know if you sh just shoot the hookers after or are you just cleaning up the streets? That question. Yeah, that question is for you, Julie. Oh no, no, no! I'm just killing them for their money. I don't. <laughs> I'm not worried about the streets. <laughs> Wasn't there a street sweeper in Grand Theft Auto Four <laughs> that you could steal? I think there is. You could literally clean up the streets. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know. It, I should never be in politics or in a, a position of power. <laughs> Yeah, I, I don't know. It, it's a 50-50 for me. I think there are some games that shouldn't have uh, cheat codes, but at the same time, I... Something's happening with my Skype. Mine too. Oh no. Everyone's hmm. broken. I don't know. I did it. It's my fault. Hmm? Chachi. How I'll, dare you. I was taking blame for it. Are we fixed? Is everything yeah. fixed? Okay. Just in time for us to end the show. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's all right. Um, as and I said, again, Canada ruins everything. Oh, do not even. Start. I'm just kidding. I'm kidding. Uh, America sucks. It's fine. Me. I have to point out that she is uh, she is very defensive when it comes to Canada. Well, she should be. It's her home. It's her home. Yeah. Um, it's her country. I made the mistake of calling Canada America's hat. Oh, that's not cool. Uh -huh. No, America that's Junior. okay. We refer to America as Canada's underpants, so don't worry. Uh, <laughs> do we have tracks? We're dirty underpants. <laughs> um, America has not washed their underpants in quite some time. That would mean we get to tuck Florida in, I guess, huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> moment of silence for that joke. From, from the chat room, uh, AJ said, Canada is awesome. Tim Hortons and hockey and healthcare and fuck yeah, Canada. You bet. <laughs> but but Riz said their beer sucks. No, our beer is far superior to yours. Just German saying. Beer for the right. Oh, no, we talked about this. We talked about beer. I'm sorry. I need to I need to rephrase that. I'm sorry. Wait, wait, you guys have really good microbrew, but your general beer is just crap. It's water. I can agree is with she, that. Is she a fan of Sidney yes. Crosby? Hmm? Are you a fan of Sidney Crosby? Um, No. Ah, should I be? Gold medal. More for me. No, I know who Sidney Crosby is, but I just everybody assumes that because I'm from Canada, I'm obsessed with sports, and I'm not. I can't say. <laughs> I would never think that. Yeah, that's, yeah. All right, all right. You have been listening to Insert Coin to Begin <laughs> Presents. Let's play episode fourteen. You can find us on Insert Coin to Begin. Pre uh, then I did it again. Insert Coin to Begin dot com. And read gaming news by gamers for gamers in Gamers on Gamers. In gamers. Gamers. I don't Fox. know why I love that so much, but when you say in Gamers on Gamers, it makes me happy. <laughs> in Gamers on Gamers, Gamers in Socks. We are inside you. Gamers in Boxes, no Foxes. Uh -oh. With Foxes? No. Green Games and Ham? Yes, <laughs> Green Games and Ham. <laughs> um, you can find us on Twitter at InsertCoinTB, Facebook, Google Plus, iTunes. I think that's it. I took a breath to continue, but I think that's actually it. Are we other places? Find us at Walmart. Did I, no, I got them all. <laughs> Lego yeah. green eggs. Uh, you can uh, check us out daily. We have new posts on the hour every so often and whatnot. And we do stuff. You can join us here Tuesdays, 8 p.m. EST. It's awesome. So. Hey, hey, watch it. <laughs> what what I do? No, not you. I'm sorry. I'm arguing with the chat room. Oh. Continue. All right. So. Also, what? download Hearthfire if you get a chance. 8 p.m. For Skyrim. Roundabout. EST. So, for Alice and Bobby, Julie, I am Chachi. Keep it nerdy, nerds. Keep it nerdy. Yay.
No, I'm Hold on, I, I locked my cat in the office by accident. Give me a second. <laughs> you locked your cat in the office? I had to place oh, my dog in the other room. It's not a Sims character. Freaking out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Oh, no. No, don't it's delete the door. Wall. Be like being. You know what? At least I'm not doing it to real human beings. You should all be very thankful for this. Yet. Sin. Yet. It starts with small animals. Yet. That's not true. It's I would never like, hurt an animal. It's like an eight-year-old. Just people. It starts It starts with kittens. <laughs> Signs you're a serial killer. <laughs> Uh, awkward silence. We are going to get hits based on the fact that we talk about video games and have females on the show alone. <laughs> the chat room is already approving. Yes. Oh, there is nothing better than being a female gamer. Oh, oh man. It really isn't. You know, I used to work... Do you guys have, like, GameStop? Yeah. Yes, okay, yes, I used to work at one of those a couple years back, and I basically could sell anything I wanted. Because it was a girl selling you a video game. And I was like, it, it gave me license to be such a jerk to people. Salesperson of the year. <laughs> <laughs> well, people would come in and they'd be like, I'm going to buy, I don't know, some really like junky PS2 game. And I was like, don't buy that. Just don't just don't buy that. Just buy this instead. Or, you know, let, let's talk about what you actually want in a video game. So you don't come back here a week later mad at me because I let you buy this tripe. It was great. <laughs> what was the game? Um, I don't know. It happened on several occasions. I'm trying to think off the top of my head now. I can't remember. Probably some, like, really, really awful, like, Xbox 360 sports title or something. Which I was, like, just, I was like, just don't even buy that. What are you doing? I'm very against sports games. I'm sorry. I, I should preface that. No, I'm not Those are the really only games, games I suck at. But I'd rather just watch the friggin' football game. Like, why would I want to play it? <clears throat> I mean, exactly. when I'm in Fable, I don't actually have a sword in real life, so that makes it better. That makes it better, exactly. 